All right. Hey, AP Physics students, this is Barry. I'm here to explain today uh, my unit outlines that will be posted for every single unit on, uh, on my website, and I want to make sure you know how to use those. So we're going to take a look at those real quick. They are on the AP Physics tab of the website. Um, the generic version is the one we'll look at today, and then right here where it says instructions is where you click to view this video. So flipping over to this, this is a generic one. It just has the spots that I will fill in for each unit, but we will use the same outline. So I just want you to know everything that's going on. First, you'll have your unit number up here and the title. From there, we're gonna start by gathering information before we head into practicing concepts because concepts are the most important thing in physics and then practicing problems that involve those concepts. From there, you will summarize the unit and then share knowledge with me. Show me that you've learned what you needed to learn by uh, completing some AP Classroom stuff. So first step here will be my info. I will link my notes here that we will also cover in class. I will read over the notes and post those on YouTube so that you can view them being read. And I also have summaries posted on YouTube. So we'll have all three of those items there for every single unit that we'll do. Bozeman science is something we'll talk about in class too, but you'll be able to see the number video and the title of the video of all the ones that are relevant here as well. And then OpenStax, our textbook. I will put all of the number of the, of the sections and the title of the sections on here for that unit as well. Now you're going to want to start with my info first because it will summarize things and get you the information quickly and in a shorter fashion. The Bozeman science and the OpenStax are meant to help you if you need additional information, specifically because we're remote learning. I want to make sure you have as much uh, to help you out as possible. From there, we will practice concepts and problems. So you're going to want to gather info first for every unit before you start any of these other things. We will practice concepts after that where you'll do simulations or PBLs or something that will put you using your actual concepts here but have very little math involved. Um, and then I'll put the title of the assignment and then the link to the simulation or the link to the PBL here. And there will be numerous ones of these listed. Um, there will also be practice problems. So in here, you'll just see the title of the assignment and I will put them in the order that you should complete them. So don't do like the fourth or fifth one first, go in order. Same thing with your practicing concepts, okay? While we're gonna do our gathering info first for all info for the unit, or at least all of the info that I share, from there, you're gonna wanna go one concept at a time probably in most cases, for your practicing concepts and then practicing problems. So very first unit, you'll see things like velocity and acceleration. We'll do your velocity practicing concepts and then your velocity practice problems before you move on to the acceleration ones, okay? But they'll all be listed right here. Summarizing the unit is something that will happen at the very end. Obviously, it's a summary, and we'll talk about that in a different video coming up here. And then you'll share knowledge by doing your AP classroom problems. And these are problems presented by College Board that are shared with us to help you practice for your AP exam. Um, a note here, don't do these or the summary. Both of these last items should wait until you've completed all other items. And uh, we will talk about your portfolio, as mentioned right here in class, so you'll know what to post and where to post all those things. But I did put small reminders here, too, so you know where to post that stuff. So that's what I've got for today. Thanks, y'all.